guys, how are you keeping? Welcome to Love Futsal. My name is David Haynes and today there is no training, nor is there a match. And there's nothing I can do to improve my futsal goalkeeping. Aha, no, 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 David, that's where you're wrong. Fantastically, there is certainly plenty we can do without the use of facilities or training partners or anyone to really help us. We can work on the greatest instrument that we own and that's our own bodies. I'm going to run a series of videos from now um, alongside my usual content with goalkeeping advice to focus on core muscle groups. That's leg strengthening, abs, core exercises, arm strength. And these are all exercises we most importantly can replicate in our own home with the use of very little equipment. So today we're gonna to focus on our core strength. This is the muscle group in our abdomen, our lower back and pelvic area. This has so many benefits on the court as a futsal goalkeeper, but also off it in day-to-day -day life. It will improve our balance and stability. It will also lead to a better and stronger posture. It will help reduce back pain if you do currently experience that, or reduce the chances of back pain in the future. Also, with regular training, it will help you look great with your top off. Ever wanted that six pack? But joking aside and more seriously and relevant to us futsal goalkeepers, it will improve our game. It will do this by enabling us to do the techniques that we need to do. It will help us recover quickly, say when we're on the floor and after we've made a save. Having that core strength will, yeah, as I said, improve our game immensely. So I'm gonna keep everything as simple as possible so you can replicate this and do this in your own home. I've actually moved a um, little table that was here so I can do it in my own living room. You guys, I'm sure you can find a little bit of space where you can safely perform these exercises. I will just be using a futsal. Um, even if you don't have a ball at home, that's absolutely fine. You can replicate this with a pillow or even just follow the exercises without holding anything. Let's go. So the first exercise we're gonna do is called the Russian twist. It's a pretty simple exercise. Basically, you drop back into a sit-up position. Your core is engaged and your shoulders and the rest of your body is off the floor. Turn to the side so we can see it. And also, your heels are off the floor and you're kept rigid and straight and you can start to feel it in your stomach. Then, we grab the futsal and we touch it from either side of our body, keeping our body as straight as we can. And the only thing we're rotating is the center part of the body, thus using this muscle. Try not to swing your legs too much with this exercise as it's quite easy to lose control and lose form. And therefore it's not working the muscle as it should. What we do, we keep this up for 20 seconds and we do as many touches as we can either side. So the second exercise we're gonna do is called heel touches. We don't need the futsal for this one, so we can put it to one side for now. We adopt a similar position to that we were using um, in the Russian twist, the first exercise. But this time, our feet, our heels are on the floor. We sit back, then engage our stomach muscle just a bit and lift our shoulders off the ground. So you'll be able to feel it in your stomach, keep it tight, and taut and it does begin to hurt and you can really feel it. And then what we do, we touch our heels. So one hand, then the other hand. If you can't quite touch a heel, that's absolutely fine. And then similarly with the Russian twist, keep this up for 20 seconds and do as many touches as we can. You can really start to feel it in your stomach. So the next exercise is called the plank. This is when you're on your elbows and your toes and your body is straight. Your core is engaged and it's not arched upwards like this or dipping in the center too low. Instead, it's kept straight. Try and hold this position for 30 seconds. If you're feeling strong and want to go one step further with the plank, we can do something called the plank step up. This is where you adopt the plank position, but then step up onto your hands. Do 
it slowly and deliberately to avoid injury. You don't want your hands to slip, otherwise your nose will hit the floor. But this is a wonderful exercise because it engages all the muscles to keep the rest of your body stable whilst lifting yourself up and moving. Incredible exercise, worth a try. So the next exercise is called bum raises. Funny name, but great exercise. You lay on your back nice and flat, and your arms either side of you to keep balance. You put your legs in the air, and you lift your bum off the ground. This is incredibly hard work, but a brilliant, brilliant exercise. Again, 20 seconds, and lift your bum off the ground as many times as you can. The next exercise we can do is called the seated scissor kick. This is a great exercise and pretty easy to do. So you lay back, not all the way back, and keep your core engaged. Your hands are allowed to support you on this one. Lift your feet off the ground, and then bring them over and under alternatively, and see how many you can do in 20 seconds. That certainly doesn't feel like a day off for me. As you can see, that's a fantastic set of exercises to work on at home in your own time and improve your core strength, which will ultimately all begin to affect and improve your futsal goalkeeping. Thank you for watching. Stay fans, everyone. Stay tuned. Um, I plan on doing leg exercises, arm exercises, probably more core strength ones, and basically a whole bunch of different stuff that we can work on without the use of equipment, without the use of teammates, that we can do at our own home, at our own time. So again, safe hands everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe if you want more of my face and more love for sort of content. Um, up here I have a playlist of best goals and saves and also a playlist of tips and advice for all you futsal goalkeepers out there. Safe hands guys, see you later.